What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Once again, it's your boy Q Morgan in the building, and this is Blowing the Budget, where we highlight budget friendly cigars as well as introduce our new smokers to this cigar lifestyle. I'm excited to give y'all some entertainment to your timeline, so make sure you follow me on Facebook and look for my YouTube channel to find out the latest cigar reviews. Now let's get into it. Hope y'all having a good day. You smoking on something nice. And this one goes out to the special shout out. My cigar aficionados, my black cigar smokers, my smoking hot kings and queens, what up though? And of course, my sexy cigar chicks. Smoking on something real nice. Trying to get it going for you. Today, we smoking on the Matilda Rancier. This is a boutique Robusto that I got for a little bit of nothing. Shout out to my cigar bid, addicts. See y'all at the meeting on Saturday. We just getting started. We gonna do this whole stick with you. So sit tight, grab a drink. Today we talking pairings. We just getting into it. This is blowing a budget where we highlight budget-friendly cigars, as well as introduce our new friends to this cigar lifestyle. I'm your boy Q Morgan, and of course, as always, <laughs> I like my naked. Today we talking pairings. What do you like to drink with your sticks? Today, doing a little bit of OJ, just simple orange juice. I was told that it cleanses the palate in between puffs so that you can enjoy the full flavor or the full blending of your cigar tobacco. Today we're smoking on the Matilda Renacere. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's R-E-N-A-C-E-R, Renacere, Renacer, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's what we're doing today. Uh, it's a small boutique uh, cigar Robusto that I found on Cigar Bid. Once again, shout out to all my addicts. I see y'all at the meeting on Saturday. This uh, description says I'm supposed to get some dark chocolate, some coffee, uh, earth, and leather, I believe. And right off the bat, the old English leather is coming through out of this first third. So it's real strong. Um, I would definitely put this in the medium to strong category. Uh, it's a smooth smoke. It's not really harsh. However, it is pungent might be the wrong word to use, but it's a, a strong flavor off the puck. And of course, it's a nice draw with a good smooth retro. So of course, you're not burning your nose hairs on the exhale, on the retro. And I say that many times and for my beginning smokers, uh, a retrohale is basically inhaling the smoke in your mouth and at the last point of exhale through your mouth, you're holding a little bit of smoke so that it can go through your nose. Here's a demonstration. And there you go. Now remember, you want to exhale 
the last little bit of smoke. Now, in my demonstration, I'm a little more advanced. I can take a little more. Uh, I hold smoke. I let it out of my nose, and then I still have smoke in my mouth to exhale out of my mouth. So, of course, for beginners, you want to get the last portion of smoke. Otherwise, you may damage the cigar experience by burning your nose hairs and giving your uh, nasal passages a weird uh, tinge. But, of course, the retrohale does allow you to realize the flavors that are comprised in your cigar. So once again, retro hell. That last little bit of smoke. Good draw, real smooth smoke. I'm getting uh, the English leather flavor. I'm getting a little bit of the coffee, kind of a chocolatey flavor, and I believe that may be the dark chocolate that I'm coming through. But of course, we're only on the first third, so we're just getting started, y'all. Everybody's talking about what you want to drink with your cigars. In this cigar lifestyle, it's about you doing what you enjoy. So if you want to drink bourbon with your cognac, with your cigars, or you want to drink cognac with your cigars, so be it. The world is yours. I introduced a lot of y'all to what I call Bobby and Whitney, and it hit like wildfire. I hope y'all still enjoying Bobby and Whitney. That's the Henny and Pink Whitney mixture with either simple syrup or agave to taste. Now, of course, it's not 50-50. It's a little more Pink Whitney than it is Hennessy. It reminds you of a very, very pungent, strong, strong island iced tea. But today, we're not doing any alcohol. We're doing simple orange juice. Cleanse the palate between puffs. That way it uh, allows you to enjoy each flavor or each node that is comprised in your cigars. Um, you go to a lot of cigar shops and I see a lot of ladies asking, how do I get the smoke smell out? Well, I hate to say it, but put a wig on. <laughs> that will be one surefire way to keep the smoke smell out of your hair. Um, you can use Febreze. You can use uh, air fresheners, uh, dryer sheets, I've been told. But me, I like the smell, so uh, when I come home, I want to smell like what I've been smoking, so. I'm not too concerned about uh, how to get the smoke smell out. Wash your clothes. So today, it's the Matilda Renaissance. I'm pretty sure I'm botching that name up real bad, but it's a very smooth smoke. Uh, I want to say it's on the bolder side of the medium spectrum and this is definitely for my fat ash smokers out there. I wanted to get some photos, opportunity of the ash gang, getting through the first third and approaching half. Uh, I'm picking up that chocolate, I'm picking up that uh, English leather like your grandfather used to wear uh, before Sunday service definitely is a reminiscent uh, fragrance uh, of my younger days, but I'm not that old. Well, I'm young as old as you feel, so. Good draw. 
real smooth on the retrohale. Again, it doesn't burn your nasal passages and you can actually taste that English leather. Definitely pronounced on the retro uh, after puffing. We got a little uneven burn uh, due to my inability to let the cigar relax. Uh, came across this on a good deal. Didn't know anything about it, but I just wanted to, I guess, throw a dart at the board and see what hits. And this was the choice. Um, budget friendly, I would definitely say I paid about $4 a stick. And that's a good deal for a five pack. Um, I usually like to buy either sample packs or <clears throat> five packs. A lot of my brothers at Leaf and my sisters at Leaf as well like to buy boxes. I haven't found no cigars that warrant me buying the box just yet. However, I'm looking at the Gatekeeper box. I'm also looking at the uh, the the Liga Privada number nine. Now that is a good smoke. Uh, very budget friendly on the higher end of the budget as well. But this one right here, Matilda Rancier, Renacier, is definitely a budget conscious and budget friendly stick. Do I add it to the box? Not quite sure yet. Like I said, I threw the dart in the air and this is where it landed so not quite sure how I feel about it yet but I do have a few of these so I will be smoking them again and we are approaching the halfway point and right now the English leather flavor is starting to mellow out the chocolate is actually relaxing. I feel that on the center of my tongue with every puff. Yeah, still a good draw. And today we're doing the famous beat You know, I like that. So, we're doing a little light. Construction is really nice. Yeah, the oil and sheen. You see that sheen on there? That's basically good oil. Very moist. Um, not sure what type of leaves these are. I'm still uh, getting into uh, the different regions, the different leaf categories. Um, we'll be talking those. Uh, advanced conversations in videos to come. As I learn stuff, you gonna learn stuff. Chime in. If you've been smoking something good, please leave the comments below. Definitely want to talk shit about it. Find out what you smoking. Maybe I can add that to the collection and see if we can do a review on what you like. We smoking on something nice. A boutique stick by Matilda. It's the Renaissance. Of course, I'm messing that name up. Please forgive me. I'm sure I'm botching it up. Uh, but it is a smooth smoke. Uh, if you like the bolder side of medium, this would be a cigar to try. It's not an infused cigar. Uh, these are natural flavors. So I'm picking up the English leather, as I said before. Uh, as we approach the last quarter or the last third, uh, I'm actually getting that chocolate and that could be the possibility of all of the tobaccos mel melding or marrying right here in this little happy area and everything is really, really smooth.
kind of huffing it, but usually I relax on it. But usually, many times when I get a new cigar that I've never tried before, I get into a bad habit of hot boxing it and just going ham on it just to see exactly what it does to my body if I don't let it rest. Um, usually, uh, many of us may experience uh, a sensation of heartburn or heavy uh, watering of your mouth. Uh, a lot of cigars uh, heighten or tend to make your salivary glands go into overload. Um, I just, like I said, when I first get the stick, I'm hot boxing it just to see exactly what it tastes like and what it feels like uh, once I've inhaled or puffed on it. Not inhale, we don't inhale, but you get what, I, what I'm trying to say. I hope you do. I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to smoke a good stick. And if Matilda Rancier, for the money, it is a good stick. Um, this is my very first time smoking it, so I can't say that this is one to go into the box. It's not going in the box yet. Um, it's in the box only because I have a few. I'll be smoking these over the next few days just to see if what I'm tasting today uh, is something that I'll taste later. Again, I'm getting the English leather, I'm getting the chocolate, and now as we end the, or end our session, this is the last third we're approaching, and I'm starting to now get like a woodsy flavor. Like um, if you took dirt in your hand and just smelled it. I try to associate uh, things that I smell with what it would taste like or things that I taste with what it may smell like. So fresh cookies baking in the oven definitely will make your mouth water and of course, you can almost taste it. A hot cake that grandma used to make, that caramel joint. Yeah, while she's making the caramel, you can almost taste it by what it smells like. So that's one way of associating uh, your flavor palette with the complexity of different cigars. That's just my two cents. Again, I'm no professional by any means. I just want to share with you the sticks that I enjoy, as well as those I don't. Well, we've reached the last third, y'all. We are approaching the finish line, and we're rounding the bases, and this cigar is actually a little more mellower than it was at the start. However, I'm now picking up a tinch of pepper. Very light, um, but it is definitely in the back of my throat. So, this is unique. I hope y'all enjoyed the entertainment for your timeline. It's your boy Q Morgan. And this has been Blowing the Budget, where we highlight budget-friendly cigars, as well as introduce our new smokers to this cigar lifestyle. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, look for my YouTube channel, and of course, leave some comments, y'all. We definitely want to talk shit about what y'all been smoking. Whatever you're doing today, I hope it's productive. I hope it's smoky. And peace out.